everyone welcome again to our uh, Joomla video tutorial uh, so uh, our topic for today is how you can optimize your website or how to make it uh, much more SEO friendly or we call it search engine optimization optimization so uh, one tip that I can uh, give you is if you check your website right here this is this is our uh, if if you check our previous video uh we 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 have uh, give you some tips and uh, tricks on how to install uh, Joomla 4 and also how to uh, edit it the layout and uh, how to uh, modify it uh, but here right now in our demo website so we have a demo URL right here this is our main uh, uh, front page and this and we have installed the uh, uh, sample data uh, site or Joomla so uh, if you don't know how to do that you can uh, check that in our previous video so now uh, let's let's go back to our topic uh, if if uh, if you want to optimize your site let's say for example I click blog menu uh, you will notice in your uh, domain name that uh, you have at your domain name slash index.php and then slash blog so if I click another URL just to give you some example so the index.php is always right there in uh, before uh, your uh, before your uh, URL uh, adopted so uh, for us to uh, to to delete this one not, not to delete but to to modify this one to make it uh, much more easier and friendly URL uh, and this is also part of uh, SEO settings uh, now let's go back to the blog to make it e easier so uh, then it will become your domain name slash blog because we tried to eliminate uh, this index.php now how to do that we go back to our Joomla administrator uh, account so and then we go to our uh, global configurations click this one and then uh, once you click the global configurations you will find uh, site system server logging text filters permission so we just go to the site uh, tab uh, go down and uh, you we need to find the SEO uh, category so this is the SEO category right here now uh, to, to delete that index.php we need to enable this one so we need to click enable but here once you click enable it will say uh, in, in your server we need to rename the it's the act it's the access the text to that it's the access in your uh, uh, Microsoft server you need to rename the web that config the text to web that config so how to rename this one so we need an FTP to do this one so let's try to connect to our FTP in our uh, C panel <coughs> now if you if you check our previous video we have also tutorial how to use FTP and how to connect that one so check check out that as well so normally uh, in your uh, if in your C panel or in your hosting uh, the file are always located in public underscore HTML so this is uh, below here is all Joomla files but uh, we are looking for the specific name called htaccess.txt this one so if you if you if you notice I have uh, it's it's the access the text here and I also have uh, that it's it's the access here uh, previously I have renamed it uh, already so if if uh, you have this already if just rename it uh, how to rename just click rename and then uh, just delete that one and make and just put the uh, that it's the access right there okay so so for this presentation since I already renamed that one and this is that one uh, I'll just put this this one as a uh, I would say backup so I'll just uh, put this uh, text as back and then that text 
okay so at least we have some backup right there in case we have some issues so uh, now it says renaming okay so so once it says renaming sometimes the response for the server is uh, has a delay so we'll just click the different tab right here and then uh, click once again ah, see then if you click some other tabs uh, here uh, just uh, you will see here it will reflected so you have there so let's go back to our uh, uh, Joomla administrator side so I have uh, clicked that one yes but I haven't clicked save yet because we haven't renamed now I will click uh, save and close now it's save and close configuration save now let's try to check that one if uh, our settings was uh, uh, already uh, activated so we click uh, here uh, for our front end side and then we click the blank our expectation is, is become uh, the link will become your domain name slash blank only so let's try it click ah see there you go so that means to say uh, our index.php was eliminated and uh, and uh, it becomes part of the SEO URL that our uh, domain name slash black. Now let's try another example. <coughs> so the index.php was uh, uh, eliminated in our URL. So in this kind of example, it becomes much more URL friendly. Now, uh, where you can find this one? So we have separate video for that one. Uh, uh, to show you how to generate uh, this kind of link but by default in Joomla uh, it is the alias okay but you can do whatever alias you want so uh, but that is the default in Joomla but like what I have said we have separate video for that one uh, just to help you optimize your website okay so I think uh, we have covered our topic for today and uh, if you have the time you can check our previous video uh, our goal here is to uh, give you some uh, tips and tricks on how to make a, a website without any knowledge of programming or uh, any need of coding so thank you for watching and uh, see you in our next video tutorial so bye for now